How do we simplify this fraction that has negative exponents? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to simplify using negative exponents. And then we have another one where we're going to use the product rule in order to simplify this. Okay, whenever we have negative exponents, we need to try to get rid of them. And we can do them, get, do this by changing the sign and moving it from the top of the fraction to the bottom, and this will move from the bottom to the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move the 10 over here, and we're going to change this to a positive 1 and move it to the bottom. So I'm going to move the 4 here, so this will become a to the 4th, and then we're going to move this b, we're going to change the sign, and we're going to move it in this direction. So now we have a 1 there for the b, so it's going to become b to the third, okay, because we have 1 plus 2. Now, what can we do from here? Well, we then can reduce this fraction by dividing by 2. 2 goes into 10. We'll divide each by 2. 2 goes into 10 five times. We're going to keep the b to the third. And then 2 goes into 4 two times, and we have a to the fourth. So there's our first example with negative exponents. Let's now work. Okay, in this example, we're going to deal with negative exponents, and also we're going to apply the product rule that states that the bases are the same, then you multiply the bases and add the exponents. So let's get started. <clears throat> we have 3a b times 4a b also. Okay, the 3 and the 4 are the coefficients, so we're going to go ahead and multiply them. So that gives us 12. We're now going to, we would multiply the bases, but we have an a, so we're going to add the exponents. Okay, and a 2 minus 1 is 1. And then we're going to do the same with b. Okay, uh, we would multiply the bases and add the exponents. So with this b, we can place a 1 right there. So we have a negative 2 and a positive 1. Okay, a negative 2 and a positive 1 equals a negative, excuse me, not negative 2, a negative 1. So that's going to become b negative 1. Now, we know that we can't have a negative exponent. So what we can do, just like we did in the first video, is change the sign, but we're going to move it to the bottom. Okay? So when we simplify 3a negative 1b times 4a squared b negative 2, it becomes this 12a over b. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.